Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Sorry for not uploading over the past couple of days. I've been super super busy with work, but before we do start this insane gameplay, which is a 40 plus kill gameplay on the standard TDM on Hackney Yard, it's insane. Make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button down below for more daily Call of Duty content in the near future. It's going to be an insane year. I'm loving it. But I just want to take the time to talk about this game. The game was out a week ago yesterday, so we've had a lot of time to you know sort of look at the game, review the game, and just sort of know what it's all about. But for me, I think this game rewards the, I don't want to say worst players, or the bad players, but the slow paced players. This game is super, super, super hard to run around, uh, you know, and just kill people as you're belting around the map. Um, is That's my preferred playstyle, just running and gunning. And it just doesn't seem to work in this game, and I've so proper had to adjust my playstyle and play the game a lot more safe. The time to kill is insanely quick. Uh, you're dying probably about three, four bullets, especially when they are up close. You die almost instantly, it feels instantly. It feels like you're playing hardcore, um, a lot of the time anyway, with, especially with the minimap and how it works this game. I mean, who thought of removing the standard minimap, I will never know. And replacing it with this bar on the top of the screen, which is similar to how like a Fortnite callout system would work, in terms of, you know, finding, seeing the enemy with your own eyes and pointing, like, pointing out the number, like he's over in a 179 and your team looks 179 they can see the team. But that doesn't work like this in this game. And for me, removing the minimap to the way it usually used to be is so absurd. I don't know who thought of this idea and why you would want to do that. Um, you know, it doesn't make the game flow. And I think that's the reason it's so slow paced because nobody knows where anybody is on the map at any moment. I mean, there's people firing, you get a rough idea of what direction they're in. But in terms of, you know, actually locating them and knowing exactly where they are, it's near impossible. It is near, near impossible. It's like playing hardcore. So people don't know where people are. They want to just stay alive and get the kill instead of dying by running around looking for someone. So it promotes camping and corner camping and all these annoying things in the game, which is super annoying. I mean, I hate it. It's, it's so so frustrating. Um, but when you come accustomed to that and you sort of you know play the slow paced style, um, no one to be quick, no one to be slow. The game really does, you know. It's, it's insane. You are beaming kids constantly. It's it's so so much fun. Um, as you can see in this gameplay, I'm sort of playing slow pace, and I go on some insane streaks in this game just to you know let you guys know. I'm shooting at my teammates here because I didn't know because I was flashed. But for me, I do like the diversity of the game modes. I love playing ground wall. I love playing normal core. I love playing the gunfight mode. I, the gunfight mode is definitely my favourite. I really really enjoy that mode. And that shotgun that you're going to see right here needs to be nerfed. I could one hit me, beam me with the shotgun, so so annoying. I got the VTOL jet though, nonetheless. That's probably the best streak in the game for me as well. Um, I think it's about 10 kills, maybe 10 kills. Maybe 9 or 10, something like that. And it's uh, definitely the best streak in the game. It goes at a tear on Hackney Yard, especially because the uh, spawn system doesn't like to flip in this game, which I'm going to move on to as well. The spawns are almost set in stone. You spawn at one side at the start of the game, you're going to be spawning there continuously throughout the whole game. It's super, super annoying. Not in the exact same spot, obviously, but around that rough general direction, you're going to spawn in the same place. And it's super, super annoying. Um, there's, if, if the enemy team gets not control like we do in this game, you can see the tears we go on. The VTOL jet is just doing all the work. Literally, the spawning and dying and spawning and dying. And they keep running in this building that I'm holding down. Just it's the closest to spawn. <coughs> And they want to just you know, get inside away from the VTOL. And they're just running into my bullets because I'm literally sized up. I mean, they're going to die instantly. It's just such a good setup for Hackney Yard if I want to play this uh, play style on this map. It, it works every single time. I love this map. It's my favourite map in the game, uh, to be honest. My least favourite probably would have to be Piccadilly. I really, really don't like Piccadilly at all. I think it's awful, awful map. Um, but that is what it is. There's so much cover and just no, not this lanes, but you can't even see straight down the lane, which is probably gonna probably you know it needs to be like that. Otherwise, it will be you know crazy, especially with the spawn system. But for this game to work, and I think it could be an insane, insane game. Would you know to put the mini map back, mini map back to normal, and I think that would be it. I think it would change people's playstyles massively. People would want to move around the map more quickly because they know where people are. Like if you see someone shooting, like the UAV, I know they're to my left. Um, I'll be running over there trying to get these kills like I am now because I, you know, I'm pushing out. I'm getting a bit more aggressive because I have the rough idea of where they are. And without that, it's. I mean, I wouldn't want to push that because I know that there could potential someone be out there pre-aiming me, and I'm just going to die instantly. And it would be just the worst experience ever. And that's how it was for the majority of the start of the game for me. 
it was horrible, especially in the beta as well. I hated the beta because I just didn't know how to adapt to this, and I thought it would be fixed into the full game. It wasn't, obviously, as we can see and we can tell. Um, and it was not an enjoyable experience for me at the start of this game, I'll be honest. Uh, it was super frustrating, but now I've adapted and just sort of, you know, took a step back and just played a bit slow. Then, you know, I'm performing in this game, I'm doing, I'm doing, well, I really enjoy it so, so much. So, when you adapt, adapt to this, ARs, play it slow, is the, you know, insane. The Kilo in this game, I think it's called Kilo, Kilo, I'm not sure. Um, that's the best gun in this game, hands down, uh, no doubt about it. But, I mean, it's insane. Look at it, look at it, it's just a beam. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get this kill. Oh, I am going to get this kill. Um, but yeah, he's super quick. If you could just play it slow, but dip out when you needed to. If you're getting a shot at, then you know you're going to perform in this game 100%. It's such a fun game. But apart from that, I mean, only complaints. The mini map just to be sorted, and this game will be hands down one of the best Call of Duty's we've probably ever played. Um, and that is the truth. Two kills left in this game. It's coming to an end. We'll see how many kills I got in just a second. I think it's 41. I think it's 41. Come on, come on. Oh, I don't know. Not shoot that guy. It is what it is. Well, oh, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Make sure you do let me know if you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare. This last kill is taking ages. Here it is. How many kills did we get on the scoreboard? Come on. 41 kills. I can't remember any deaths. I think I got like 3 or 4 deaths. So, not too bad. Pretty insane TDM game. I was loving this game. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. Make sure you are hitting that subscribe button for more daily Call of Duty content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.